Hey what's up everyone, today we will make a javascript function to calculate the SMA. The SMA is a simple moving average. Okay, so how does a simple moving average work? It's very very simple. For example, we have an array data with the numbers 8, 13, 6, 9, 12, 5. By the way, this 12 this is how I learned in school. Many people confuse it with a 1. Uh, with a 7, so that's actually a 1, okay, that's not a 17. 22, 13, 8, and 17. Alright, now if you want to have the SMA, the simple moving average, we're going to say SMA, and then this N here, so the simple moving average is the mean of the previous N data. So if you want to Let's say in this example we will calculate an SMA of 4. The 4 is the N. Okay, so from the previous 4 data. So we have the 8, 13, 6, and 9, which is 36. The average of these 4 numbers, so divide by 4, is 9. So we have to put it on display. So this is null. Nothing, 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 because we don't have data to calculate this. So the previous four of this don't exist, so it's nothing, null, or undefined. So there's nothing here, nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. Okay, so the simple moving average of this slot here is 9. Okay, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, we add them up, which is 36, divided by 4, the amount of numbers, is 9. Okay, so that's the first number. Second number, now we have to calculate 13 plus 6 plus 9 plus 12, which is 40, divided by 4 is 10. So next one is 10. Okay, and so we move on, so next one is 6 plus 9 plus 12 plus 5 which is 32, divided by 4 is 8, so next one is 8. Then we have the, where are we now, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, so we have to calculate from here. 9 plus 12 plus 5 plus 22 is, yeah, I, uh, I have a sheet sheet, you see guys, it's not that my, uh, my calculus is that good. So, uh, where are we? 9 plus 12 plus 5 plus 22 is 12, is 48. Divided by 4 is 12. Okay, so next one is 12. 12 plus 5 plus 22 plus 13 is 52. Divided by 4 is 13 so that's 13 and then the last one is 22 13 8 and 17 is 48 divided by 4 is 12 again okay and now it's complete now let's plot this on the chart so we have 10 data points 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so the first one is 8, okay, second one is 13, so that's got to be here, that's 13, third one is number 6, goes here, 6, fourth one is 9, goes here, that's the 9, fifth one is 12, so it goes here, it's 12, Sixth one is number five, which is here. Okay. Seventh one is 22. Okay, which is all the way here. Is this one? This one, all right? 22. Then 13. Eight is here and seventeen last one. 
which is here, right? Okay. So if we start, so this is this is our data. Okay. So let's plot this. This color is the data. And then I guess this is a black one. Yep. So that's the S M A four. All right. So let's plot that one. So the first four ones are nothing. So one, two, three, four, nothing. So the fifth one is going to be number nine, which is here. Yes. Number nine. Um, sixth one is number 10. So that's here. Seventh one is number eight, which is here. Then number 12, which is here. Uh, this one. Yep. Yeah. Then number 13, which is here. And then number 12 again, which is here. Okay. So if we plot this one, let's plot this in a... Uh, such a lines. Okay. So this is a simple moving average. And that's it. That's all we need to know. Now let's go to our code and um, see how we can program this in uh, JavaScript. Okay, so we will start with some close prices, which we have here. Uh, that's an array with this basically some data pulled from an exchange. Um, let's start with the function to calculate the average. So function called AVG. And we're going to pass in values. Okay. So to get sum, we need first the sum. Okay, what's going on? Let sum is. So we take the values dot reduce reduce which is um, a JavaScript method uh, it will reduce um, a whole array to a single value um, depending on what calculations you put into the uh, into the reduce method so we will pass in um, accumulator and the current value All right, and we use the arrow function to return accumulator plus, and we have to parse float because many times we get data from the server or from an exchange, which is JSON data, which is usually um, returned in, in strings. So we have to parse floats for everything. Uh, and then current value. Okay, that's done. Zero basically means don't do anything. All right, and then we need let AVG, the average, which is our sum divided by the values dot, dot length. values at length okay and then return avg okay let's test this console.log uh, and then avg pass in the close prices all right save it All right, let's have a look. Syntax errors, unexpected token on line nine. Okay, line nine, let's see here. Yep, it's that one. Parse float is not defined. Parse vote is not defined, of course, because vote is not really a method, so floats, okay. 
All right, seems to work. Perfect. Um, so let's move on to uh, make a function to call the simple moving average. So function, we call it SMA. We have to pass in um, values and the periods. And we're going to set the standard to 20 uh, because it's used quite a lot with the period of 20. So let SMA is values.map. We will use a map method, which is basically returns a new array uh, based on the calculations made in this uh, map method. So we're going to use the value index and then the array and then use the error function. All right. Let's close up. That's um, zero to finish off with nothing, and then close it like. All right. So, if the index is smaller than the period. This basically means if the index is smaller than the period, it means there's not enough data to calculate, so it will return um, undefined. Then we will say fell is null. Okay. Else fell is array dot slice because we have to slice the parts we need to calculate uh, and that's basically index minus period and then second is index okay the slice between those two and um, like this and then the value we need to get the average so it's we call our functions avg val all right okay and then we have to return um, our value and then return sma return sma and now let's see if this works so console log SMA um, price close prices that's a, that's the values close prices and then the periods let's say we take a period of 10 save this let's go to our screen and that seems to work quite all right all right so basically that's it um, I'll make a tutorial soon uh, to explain how to uh, plot charts, but it's not for now because it's going to take a little bit of time. Um, so just copy paste. All right, plotting the charts and let's see. So we call, did we call the moving average or not? No, not yet. So simple moving average. Okay. So in our data here, we need let simple moving average is and then let's call the simple moving average of 10 or 20 doesn't matter a uh, simple moving average is sma and that's close prices and then the period's gonna be 10 all right save this let's have a look All right, looks okay, but there's a little bit of code that's been displayed. No problem, we get rid of that. Put this in the script tag, like this. And that's it, all done. Simple moving average. Hey, okay guys, uh, that's it for today. Um, did you like this video? Please click the like button and subscribe to the channel, okay? so. Again, all the documentation should be under this video. Um, I see you in the next video. Bye.